Hello everybody, it's Gas Anxiety here, and I'm bringing you guys a PvP commentary video. This is gonna be a match uh, between the Nastio and I am Boyd. This is game three. I actually was able to record the last two. Um, hopefully the commentaries were good. There, I think I ran into a couple issues in the last two videos. Uh, hopefully they're they weren't too big and they're watchable. You guys can enjoy them, but um. Anyway, so this is game three, uh, game, same matchup, um, Egyptian versus Norse, all games. Um, game one, I am Boyt won, it was on equal footing, he won game one. And game two, Denasio won, uh, playing on this map, Mountain Crossing. So we're going to see another uh, game on Mountain Crossing. Um, and this is a really bad storehouse by him, boy, he probably doesn't know his health thin. Didn't notice when he started building this how thin this wood line is. Um, and uh, Nasio, uh, real smart strategy that he does on this map. Um, <clears throat> he sends all of his villagers to build a dock right away. And he uses this dock just as a storehouse for all of his villagers and for his fishing boat. So he's a uh, He's got a couple of villagers gathering from this uh, fish pond right here, using their fishing nets. It's pretty awesome, and uh, some other ones chopping the close tree. So, uh, real nice job right there. And as soon as he gets 100 wood, he's gonna make a um, fishing boat. So, it's real smart. And uh, I'm Boyd, throwing up a, a dock of him for himself. Yep, there you go. Uh, Nasir already have, having that boat being trained, and uh, I'm Boyd with his dock not even up yet, so... Oh, and, uh... Yeah, uh, I'm Boyd putting up a second storehouse here, this is pretty funny. This was just one herd of hunt, but... It was one of those really awkward ones where, like, the deer... You kill a deer and they're all, like, really far spread apart. Um, this is funny, I've never seen somebody do this before, but... This is actually probably smart, because they're so far, pa far apart. The walking time from these to there would have just been so would have just been horrible. So we just put up a second uh, second star house to make some uh, much better wa uh, gathering race. Put up a second oh man second star house right on this really ugly wood line though. Oh man, I would have liked to see him put a star house on a different wood line, especially if he was to make a second one. You see probably like few minutes into the game it's it's gonna be looking really ugly once they chop through these trees um you really have to uh kind of move this part isn't too bad it's a lot chunkier but i mean this little force in general is a real not a good one to make your sore houses on and nasio uh got a uh, sore house up right there and nothing up the store house on hunts and nasio had the same type of hunt though where uh all the deer were, you killed them and they were all really far spread apart. I kind of hate those, hate when the hunts are like that. Um, it's kind of stupid in my opinion. And he really, he's just using one Soros though for this hunt patch. And kind of trying to throw it a little bit in the middle of them without hunt deleting any of the deer. Um, so I'm Boyd putting up the barracks. And uh, I think he's, yep, going to H2 right now, just threw it down. You got only one fishing boat. Yeah, really want to get more. This is really nice by the Nasio. Four bolts already to make his economy just awesome. Make his economy uh, just go nuts. <clears throat> Nest, both of them going to age two right now. It'll be interesting to see how I and Boy plays this one. Because uh, in the last game, it was on this map, the same matchup. And I and Boy did a. Uh, a fast H3. He really he made a couple barracks and made some uh, axemen, but he really probably only made like ten axemen and went H3 real early. Um, and I was saying last game that it was wasn't wasn't that bad of an idea because chariot archers are just so good versus Norse, but uh, it just looked like he went H3 just a little too early, and he wasn't able to hold off like the first heavy push by the Nasio and. Uh, he was he uh, was forced to resign pretty early. Um, well, shortly after getting H3, he wasn't able to get a high chariot archer count. So 
wasn't able to hold off that first attack. And then she'll throw down two barracks. I uh, just throw a new store house right there. These ones are walking real far. This game looking exactly like the last game. Uh, they both had yeah, both starting the exact same way, really. Um, and boy, to make another fish in both, or at least one, one more, maybe two. Um, oh, this time he's, uh, Boyd's gonna throw it on a stable, so, yep, you're not doing the same, not gonna lose it the same way as last game, he's gonna change his strategy up a little bit, that's smart. Yeah, I definitely wanna put a sword out here, uh, for Nasio. Uh, Nasio throwing down another barracks, so he's in three barrackses. Let's see if, and neither of them getting this upgrade yet, uh, again, last game they didn't get it, and this is a really good upgrade, um, they should definitely get it sometime soon, but I don't think last game I don't think either of them got it at all. So it's something that they should definitely get. Uh, I have to change that next time we play the play this map. I am boy taking some map control right here, throwing um throwing a storehouse on some uh, free forward hunt and have some axemen uh, covering it. Vanessa was covering this uh, top um, pond. This is a really important pond on this map too. Um, <clears throat> this little, right here we got was this four fishing spots. Just right there, that's four thousand fish. So that's actually a huge, uh, really important part of this map is this pond. So it'll be interesting to see if either of them, either of them uh, take that pond soon. Boyd making another fishing boat. Gonna have a total of fours, that's nice. Starting to uh, make some camels too. Uh, here's a wood gathering upgrade, but not the gold one yet. Take a nasty, nasty, same store. Wood one, not the gold yet. Villager count 31 to 29. Oh man, this is. If Nasio, this is real big. Nasio, um would push in on this, he could definitely push Boyd off that hunt. Um, take a look at the nasty, but, oh, he does see a storehouse. Man, it'd be nice. He could really do a lot of damage there. Um, but he didn't see his army. Uh, yeah, he could still easily push, uh, Iron Boyd off this, this hunt, and, uh, maybe take a couple villagers. Here we go, real smart by the nasty, he knows how important this pond is, so he's putting up that dock. Start fishing on there, and uh, boy, trying to move out, but uh, I don't know. This is right now. It's looking pretty much in uh, Nasu's favor. Nasu is playing really smart, playing snap real smart, uh, taking that second pond. Yeah, he's gonna start fishing. His economy is just gonna be nuts. Don't even you don't even have to have one villager on food. You, your fishing boats will do the job for sure. I mean, nah, especially since he's getting that second pond, you definitely want to get that upgrade for your fishing boats. It's huge. But, um, so I wasn't on it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I am boy. Got it. That's smart, though. That might uh, give him a little advantage. <clears throat> Village recounts 35 from I am boy. Uh, 35 from Nasio, so tied. No dog seen yet by Nasio. I'd like to see, some, see him throw up a watch post somewhere and start making some, um, I don't know if they're, I think they're called war dogs or something like that. But 49 throwing axemen, that's a high number. He's just tear apart those four axemen. Um, so Boyd mixing in some camels here. Oh, this camel's getting lost in here. Oh, but Nasio not even firing. Still not there, he goes finally. That's one. And uh, Boyd's not going to be able to do anything about this. Next so he could just hit and run these guys all day. They're too small of a number right now to do anything. Um, he looks next to, yeah, he's playing smart. Just keep hitting and running, man. Boyd's just going to be forced to retreat. And here he goes, pushes, uh, pushes him off this uh, hunt. And looks like neither of them really noticed this yet. Oh, Nasty will miss out on Four villager kills right there. Uh, Boyd safely bit. Uh, they will safely get those villagers away. 
and Boyd's is going straight in for trying to trap uh, the thrown Axeman. Big engagement right here. And then Nasu being smart, not uh, trying to get thrown Axeman trapped, trying to keep hitting and running with them. Um, this is yeah, real, real smart by Nasu right here. Uh, yeah, it's not when uh, Boyd really do much. Let's see how that second pound comes along. Two fishing boats. Should have more. Make a couple more. Make uh, make two or three more. This actually has, I believe it has like 5,000 fish or 4,000, so a little bit more than the back ponds. And if, if Boyd doesn't do anything about this uh, pond, uh, this could be, could be really tough. Uh, that could really give Nasty a big uh, advantage. Oh, right here, Boyd's sending in some camels to do some raiding, nice. But Nasty on top of it puts his villagers, hides them in the longhouses. So, real smart right there. But, uh, either way, good raid by uh, Boyd, making these villagers get off that wood and go idle. We're trying to get those camels out of there without using too much. And Nasty, a big 74 thrown axe, and he's going straight in. And, oh man, this could be really bad for Boyd. This, he's not, even if he gets a trap here, it doesn't look like he's gonna be able to take out these, this huge army of thrown axemen. And Nasty was smart, just keep hitting and running with those thrown axemen. Uh, yeah, boy, doesn't want to be fighting, they shoot, shoot back off, back off here. Try to, shoot. boy should play real defensive and just try to get to H3 and so he can get those chariot archers out again. Like he did in game one. But at this point, it's looking, it's looking a little tough for Boy. Um, yeah, all in, going in right now, and these uh, villagers trying to take some out. Um, Nancy playing real smart. Still only two on this pond. Still hasn't got the upgrade yet. Oh man, it's a huge upgrade, especially with those two ponds. Tommy getting a little, uh, Macro getting a little bit off here from Boy. Nasio pretty good. Nasio about reaching max population. See if he. Oh, yeah, there we go. Throwing down second time centers. It's good. Did get uh, stuck at 140 for a little bit though. Uh, Boy only population a lot lower, 97. Uh, oh, yeah, he. Now I want to fight this, you have to save your army. Um, 86 down axe, man. Oh, man. No, you do not want to fight this boy. You need to, need to save time until you can get, uh, try to get to H3 and get those chariot archers out. Yeah, this is not looking good for boy though. His army just, he's just letting his army get destroyed here. Looks like, uh, looking really bad for Boyd. Don't know if he's going to be able to uh, hold off this attack here. Yeah, but it looks like it's going to be a good game. Real uh, strong play by Nasser right here. Um, crazy amount of throwing action. Real, I think he was really uh, taking, just real smart, t taking the, uh, making more fishing boats earlier than uh, Boyd and then taking that second one. Uh, real smart, real nice play. A real good game. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. See you guys next time.